you ever want to torture a child, you give a little child an ice cream. When he's firmly grasping the ice cream, you give him another one. When he's holding both ice creams, you offer him a third. You have a pool of ice cream and tears on the floor. <laughs> because he doesn't understand that you can only have what you can have and you must sacrifice what you can't. He only understands having everything. And he'd rather end up with nothing. One should draw a circle and attempt to put into the circle all the unique things that are your personality. And you start putting into the circle the things that are uniquely you. The unique aspects of your character and your potential, your talents. When you've discovered what are the unique characteristics that make up your personality, your nature, you then have to have the courage to close the circle. And that is very, very difficult. You have the courage to say, this is what I am, and I'm not that, and I'm not that, and I'm, I'm never going to be great at that, and I will never achieve this, and I will never achieve that. What will happen if you do the exercise accurately is a remarkable thing. The result is a very strong emotional response. When you do it accurately and you end up with a circle that contains the unique aspects of your character, clearly defined, and it isolates them from the ones that are outside that are not the unique aspects of your character, of being able to identify clearly who it is that I am. But the way you know what your path has to be is from looking at the tools you've been given. The purpose here, the point is, the skill is, to define the circle so accurately and so carefully and so clearly that you perfectly define all the tools and abilities that you have. Those will clearly shine a light on exactly the path that you have today. No two people have the same circle of gifts and abilities. Every constellation of features is different. Not just your academic ability. It's a small part of the things that have to do with your unique personality characteristics. Are you empathic? Are you a person who's a good listener? It's a sign. It tells you something about yourself. Are you better mechanically? Do you get on better with machines and engines than you do with people? Do you get on better with people? Do you get on better with animals than people and machines? You know, who are you? What are your skills? What are your talents? Are you musical? Are you athletic? Are you all these things? Nothing was given to be wasted. Because something has to be built here and now. You were born in this particular place, in this particular time. You're given those parents, these amount of looks, that amount of intelligence, or that amount of lack of intelligence, this kind of financial background, etc., etc., etc. The whole thing, including the uniqueness of your personality, your approach to the world, your optimistic, upbeat personality, your depressive, miserable nature, whatever it is that you were given. <laughs> and in order to know why you put where you put and what you have to do, you look at the tools you were given. You identify correctly what it is that you really are, then you won't feel jealous of anybody else. You'll see immediately that you've been given what you need for your job, you will like the job as well. Because there's an axiom that you're good at what you like doing, and you like what you're good at. If you're unhappy with your road, then you're making a mistake. You're making a mistake. You are either not your road, you're misidentifying your tools, you put in fantasized tools because that's the road you think you'd like. You're making a mistake. The base is being a decent human being. You've achieved self-control maximally. You're working on that. Maximum refinement, concern, consideration, all the things that you have to have as a human being. That's not negotiable. Those aren't unique things. Those everybody has to have. And therefore, you have to be creative and put into the circle what is genuinely your unique set of characteristics. Once you've closed the circle and discovered who you are, then every single second of the rest of your life should be dedicated to becoming the world's greatest master of the constellation of features that you've discovered. The circle is your target, it's your goal, the definition of your, of your road, of your route, and therefore the rest of your life is spent walking that, that path, not somebody else's.